Today, we're going to be building a very simple Golang application and deploying it to Koyeb. In order to follow along with this tutorial, you're going to need to have a GitHub account, a Koyeb account, and to have Golang installed on your machine. All these will be linked down below, and without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create the Git repo to store this project. We're going to go ahead and call this the Golang Koyeb demo. I'm going to leave the description blank, make it public. I don't want to initialize with anything. I'm just going to go ahead and create this repository. Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and set up our project. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to say make directory Koyeb Golang. We're going to go ahead and open up our new directory in your editor of choice. For me, that's going to be VS Code. Now that we've created our project, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and initialize the Golang package. So we're going to say go mod init. If we go back to the GitHub page, I'm going to go ahead and grab this github.com slash bmdavis409 slash Golang Koyeb demo. I'm going to grab that. Whatever you use, make sure to grab yours here. Then we're going to go back over here. I'm going to paste this in. I'm going to create my new mod file. So now that this is created, we can go ahead and actually start our project. I'm going to go ahead and create a new main.go file. And now that we've gone ahead and created our main.go, we need to actually fill in our little API here. So the first thing I'm going to do is initialize my package to be package main. Then we're going to go ahead and import all the packages we're going to be using for this project. After that, we need to declare our main function. Then we're going to go ahead, grab the port from our environment variables. This will be important when we deploy up to Koya because they expose an environment variable for the project and we want to make sure that we're using that. Then also for local development, we're just going to say if they don't pass in a port, we're going to use 8080. Then we need to go ahead and create a function handler for hello world. After that, we need to go ahead and say http.handle func uh, hello handler. This will be attached to the root of our Golang API here. Then finally down here, we're going to go ahead say which port we're listening on, and then we're going to go ahead and serve our API. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new terminal. I'm going to say go run main.go. I say go run main.go. And then this will take a second. It'll listen on 8080. Finally, if we navigate over to localhost 8080, we're going to get hello from Koyeb. Now that this is done, we can go ahead and deploy this project. Since we're using GitHub and Koyeb together, deploying this is remarkably trivial. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead over here and I'm going to copy this command down here because I'm going to want to use this in a second. Then I'm going to go back over to my terminal. I'm going to stop my server. I'm going to say git init. I'm going to say git add dash a git commit dash m created project. Then I'm going to go ahead and paste in that command that we copied. Then finally, we're going to say git push dash u origin main. Now that we've done that, we go back over to our git repo here, refresh the page and we're going to have our little Golang application up in GitHub. Now we can put this in Koyeb. Navigating over to my Koyeb dashboard here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new web service. I'm going to say we want to do this through GitHub. I'm going to say Golang Koyeb demo because that's the one we're just working with. Now that we've done this, I'm just going to use the default build pack because Koyeb is smart enough to handle all the config for us. It'll detect that it's a Golang project and do what we need. We're going to want this to be a web service because we want to expose this to the internet. I'm going to go ahead and make this an eco instance because this is a little demo app, but if you're going into production, definitely take a look at the standard instances. I'm going to deploy this to Washington DC because that's where I'm closest to. I'm going to go ahead and rename my app to be Golang Koyeb demo. I'm going to go leave the service up here as this, and that's literally it. That is all we have to do to get our Golang app deployed to Koyeb. We're going to hit the deploy button. It's going to take a moment here to go through, provision all our resources, get everything set up. But once that's done, we're going to have an application fully deployed. And just like that, our Golang app is deployed. If we go to this public URL right here, I'm going to click on this, and it's going to say hello from Koyeb. And now one more quick thing before we go, I want to show you guys how you can actually publish changes to this. Because since we're using GitHub and Koyeb together, it is trivial to publish updates to our app. So we're going to go back over here to our app. I'm going to go ahead and close out my terminal. And I'm going to go ahead down here, and I'm going to make a new handler here. So I'm going to say func new handler. And we're going to pass in our whttp dot response writer. And then we're just going to pass in a blank HTTP uh, dot request because we don't care. We don't need anything off of this. And then finally, I'm just going to go ahead down here. I'm going to just copy this. I'm going to say hello from Koyeb new route. So we're just going to add a new route to our app here. So now that we've added our new little handler here, we need to go ahead and attach this to our app. So I'm going to say HTTP dot handle funk and we're going to say slash new and we're going to do new handler and then now we're going to go ahead and open up our terminal we're going to say git add dash a we're going to say git commit dash m new handler we're going to go ahead and do git push 
And now just like that, we're going to go ahead and, and just like that with no other steps, this is going to redeploy and you'll see in about two minutes here, we're going to have a brand new instance of our app running with this new handler. If I go back to my Koi dashboard here, you're going to see right away without me having to do anything, we're going to have this brand new handler by BM Davis 419. It's going to provision my new instance, start it up and it'll be healthy in about two minutes here. And just like that, our new instance is deployed and that's it. That's all it takes to deploy a production ready Golang app to Koi Make sure to let us know down below if you have any questions and definitely make sure to show us the cool things you're building.